perhaps. And put it into the law that any effort to enforce a regulation that is not truly necessary based on some very objective, quantifiable standards, any law that you put in place is void. And you can defend yourself against an effort by, say, the signed bureaucrat, by saying, prove to me that law actually has a basis in fact. And, and the one thing that I think that would clear out the silt of these useless regulations more than anything else is this simple requirement. Require any regulation just to specify what its objective is in quantifiable terms and how we will know when they reach it. You know, what in the world could be the objective of a sign regulation that did this? How in the world could anyone measure it? If you put somebody on the stand who's advocating this, he's just going to sit there and go, ah, nah, 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 and then it will go away. So you know, I, I also advocate a little bit more biting standards as well, but who's going to argue against that? Tell me what your objective is. Tell me how we're going to know when we reach it. You will clear out a lot of the most ridiculous regulations right there. This is the last re reform that I, I think we'll have time for. Uh, but the right to property is well protected in Arizona relative to other states. Everything's relative. We have Proposition 207, which uh, protects you from <coughs> new land use regulations, laws that would stop you from using your land one way or another, if it diminishes your value in a way that you would want to. example, let's say you have commercial property and you had the right to put it in you know, one of these currency exchange places, the, 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 the Western Union type thing. Let's say you had that right in the zoning laws. But you also have a whole bunch of other rights. You could have you know, malls and office buildings, etc. How do you measure the loss if you don't already have somebody planned to build if they pass an ordinance taking that use away from the problem with Proposition 207 is you can still have death of property rights by 1,000 paper cuts. And so we need to fix that by making sure, among all the things that we sunset and sunrise, every property regulation goes through the same sort of process. I'm going to skip this because you can ask me questions about it if you want. I'm going to go straight to this thing. Believe it or not, there's traction in the real world on eliminating zoning. And by that, I don't mean that you know you can put your rendering plant in somebody, you know, next to somebody's backyard. I think I've pretty much figured out how you can do this in a way that makes sense, <coughs> sensitive to existing expectations. And believe it or not, I've had people from El Mirage tell me that they're interested in looking at this as an option. Basically, what you do with your existing zoning is you sunset the stuff you can't justify in terms of the restrictions on how you use your property and what's compatible. Get rid of the things that require you to have three bushes, every you know, ten feet of frontage, or something like that. You're left with the rule, the regulations that are meant to keep compatible uses together, prevent nuisances. You take those rules and you record them. I don't know if you know how property rights work, but you basically file a document that tells the world what your property rights are. Well, you take those remaining zoning laws and you just record them against your property, like any other property right, and you give people within a certain radius the right to enforce those. Sort of like CCNRs at an HOA. An HOA being a homeowners association. They close down the planning department. Uh, there's some precedent for having a city operate like that. It's called Houston. And I don't know if you guys read the, I, I get this, I don't know why I get it, but American Express gives me this mini fortune magazine here, this entrepreneurial fortune magazine. And I got it the other day, and it tells me that Houston is, is a thriving city right now. It's, in fact, the, the most dynamic economically of all the cities in the country of that size. One reason may be that they don't have zoning. They don't have zoning. And there's been studies showing that the compatible uses migrate according to market demand. And if you were to look at Houston, without knowing it's Houston, and you were to look at Chicago, which was one of the first to adopt zoning, and you saw what uses are next to each other, it would be all but indistinguishable because markets sort out. Sort out.
compatible uses. So that's, that's another major thing. If you, and the reason why taking away zoning is a major issue, the power of local government is zoning. The entire political careers rest on wielding the right to determine whether you can put a restaurant somewhere or a bank, or whether you can build that addition on your home or not. The favors that are traded for this are unbelievable. You cut this power away from our politicians at the local level, you'll go a long way to shrinking government down to the core of living government principles. We can talk about this if you have a question, but if you go to the last slide. I encourage you to visit this website, pull down the whole report, it's 100 pages, I could talk for hours if I'd be able to tell. Uh, Essentialize them into operational <laughs> principles that you can use to conceptualize reform so that when you deal with this alien concept of making local government a limited government, you can explain it. But ideology is important. Having a systematic way of thinking about things is critical, both to prioritize your thinking and your actions and also to communicate to others what you're all about. And so I encourage you especially since you're here, to think about not only ways of prioritizing the reform of your local governments, but think about your own personal lives. And how can you develop a reality-based ideology that can help you focus in pursuing liberty in your life? city cop. 